Refracting telescopes are the ones that you always see pictures of. Now, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean when I say that, but if not, and because there's a minimum picture requirement, here's an example. Modern refracting telescopes are bigger on one end, smaller on the other, and generally two and a half feet long. These medieval zoomer inners use two convex lenses to make the moon easier to see. The first lens takes the object and projects a larger inverted image. The second, smaller lens, turns the image upright. Early on in the telescope making world, only one lens was being put to good use, causing the image to be upside down and therefore kinda confusing. But someone along the way said, hey, if one lens makes the image upside down, maybe another one will flip it right side up. They were right. And so, refracting telescopes became roughly 78.5% more user-friendly. Not really. That was a joke. For, um, argument's sake, and also for lack of a better option, that, um, this roll of foil is a refracting telescope, but morphed with a funnel of sorts, so it gets bigger on one end. Anyhow, so the object that you're seeing, you're looking through this way. The object comes in this end, hits the first convex lens, and inverts. Probably about here. Maybe. Wherever the focal length is of the um, telescope. And then it inverts, hits the second lens, and comes out normal where you can see it. Woo! I know. It's, it's astonishing, really. Since Galileo invented the telescope in 1609, there have been many new scientific discoveries and ways to use the telescope efficiently that have been discovered. One issue with refracting telescopes is known as chromatic aberration. Now, different objects have different wavelengths, and therefore, they're difficult to focus in a single lens of a refracting telescope. When this happens, objects get a colorful blur around them like an aura. This blur is referred to as chromatic aberration. In order to correct this, the second lens was placed behind the main objective lens and causes all of the wavelengths to focus at the same point. This lens is known as the achromatic refracting lens. And the achromatic refracting lens was invented by John Dolland in 1758. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned a lot. <laughs>